Hey all and welcome, something a little different tonight. I'm gonna paint and procreate on my iPad Pro. You guys know I love painting in Outrage, you know I love painting in Photoshop, but I also use kind of a little bit of everything else. I love using Procreate for its drawing. It's kind of like my digital sketchbook. Um, whenever I'm kind of doodling on the go, I use my iPad and Procreate to do that. Um, I think it really excels there. It's a good illustration tool and um, this is pretty interesting. What you're seeing here is basically all the prologue before I figured out what I was going to do. ArtRage um, can record your drawings and Photoshop can record your drawings if you are recording your screen um, through like a third party software. But Procreate um, has a built in record anything and everything feature. So what you saw before I actually got it started with this illustration concept was just my basically my pre-draw doodling and um, I had nothing to do with what I'm drawing here but it was just kind of uh, kind of fun to see I left it in there basically procreate records everything you draw from first stroke to last and you can cut that up and export what you want but I thought it was fun and interesting to see what happens kind of in the pregame before I kind of figure out what I'm gonna draw for a night and what I decided to draw, and what, what became kind of evident in the theme here, was that I wanted to do a vintage style, almost Norman Rockwell family portrait. And I have a bunch of different families that I want to profile here, and you'll see I have different layers assigned for each family. And um, the whole thing is just kind of coming to life on paper as I'm working. And, and so there's really no forethought. It's just going for it. And um, these families that I'm drawing, um, one of them ends up being our family, but the other families are just neighborhood families, family friends that are really important to us, people who have been amazingly helpful in in kind of the raising of our kid and helping in times of need. And we've had those needs because of uh, just some, some family health issues that, that have kind of coincided with these last few years. So you can see what I did is I started with um, just the line work and like I said the procreates awesome at being like a digital sketchbook so I started with the line work and then after that I laid in my color and I call that local color you know just the color that's just accurate to each region of the area so the color is going to have some highlights and some shadows but it's not an extremely uh, serious pass it's just kind of roughing everything in and I'm doing it in a way that you can still see the line work underneath so it's kind of like on a separate layer underneath the line work um, here I've just brought in a reference picture, a Norman Rockwell reference, because as I'm drawing I'm starting to get the feeling of what I want and I really wanted to look back at the master's work to see kind of how he handled color and, and light and, and brushwork. And, um, it's a different style than I normally use, but it's obviously very, very beautiful, very effective and very compelling. So um, more than anything I just thought it was a really great fit for this series. Uh, this family in particular was inspiring to me because they've been um, an amazing help to us. Um, the the mom and the daughter have been just just dear friends to our family, and um, they're just just great people. Um, while I was working on this illustration, I had my view really zoomed in. Now you can't see how zoomed in I was because um, you're just seeing kind of the full frame drawing and. And, and, and so you're losing a little bit of the detailed development and, and tonal development that I'm doing to kind of pull out the the wrist or the biceps or the, the, the highlights in the hair and stuff like that. But you still get the idea. Um, I'm turning this from basically a sketchbook drawing into a full-fledged illustration or painting. And the tools I used for this, I used the shale brush, which is a default brush in Procreate. And then I used a mix of the turpentine, oil, and Nico Roll. Those are three different brushes that are in the artistic and painting presets of Procreate's default brush set. Um, this family is kind of like your, uh, they're the kind of the open door family. They, they're always welcoming in the, the stray cats and the rescue animals and all that. So I wanted to include them in the, the picnic basket in the back. Now I'm not done with that drawing yet, but just kind of as the way I work is my brain will kind of turn off of one idea onto another and I decided to draw our own family portrait and kind of in the circumstances we've been going through, I decided to draw us in this kind of precarious situation, but sort of embracing it. And that's kind of me, our son and my wife. And then I'm cut back to the original illustration and you can see that now that I have a good feel for the, the mom there in the drawing and then now I need to draw the kid. and. Um, as much as I know these guys pretty well, I don't really like know them enough to do true portraiture of them without any reference. So um, this is me kind of just 
gumbling around and kind of trying to figure it out. Um, at one point, I just finally surrender and, and go back through kind of like a neighborhood Google Drive or Google Photos shared album and find a picture of the kid so I can kind of get a feeling for what the kid looks like. But um, it was fun to kind of just work through it, kind of out of my head for a little while. Um, this is uh, the, the way I work on the iPad or the way I work in Procreate is, is like kind of sitting on the couch with family watching a movie kind of thing. So it's real low pressure, really fun. and. Um, it, it's just kind of a distraction more than anything. And it's a great way um, with art, you know, to honor the, the, those around us. So being able to do a portrait of someone makes them feel special. Being able to, to do um, a, a drawing like this is, is a real way, a nice way to honor someone who, who you care about. So this was a fun way for our family to say thank you. And, um, you know, thinking about like the primary colors, making it very kid friendly, the red, yellow, blue, that's a triad color scheme, but also kind of familiar to that kindergarten classroom feel. And you can see that through here, um, I'm just starting to develop a little bit more of the value shading and, and tones in all the peripheral characters here, the cat, and then, then eventually, you know, the picnic basket and the bunny. and. Um, Procreate is a really good tool. Um, I, I know some people, it, it's their go-to for everything, and I, I can see why, but for me, I'm a little more fond of R-Rage for its painting features and Photoshop for its amazing power and versatility. But Procreate is definitely uh, a top tool, and, and it's one that I use every day for sure. Um, and I just didn't feel like my channel was being a totally accurate representation of, of the work that I do without something like this. And so when, what I wanted to do was feature Procreate um, as a sketchbook tool. I wanted to feature it as a tool that um, I use in this particular way. And I know other people use it in a very different way than this, but this is sort of my way of, of working with it. Um, I like doing plein air paintings with it actually as well. So maybe I'll do one of those. It'd be kind of informative for you guys that like doing um, plein air work with your digital tools. But here's basically the um, family portrait, Norman Rockwell style. And I do still need to do a few things to finish it up, but I felt like it was close enough to give you guys a, a good look at it. So here's a painting of our neighbors in kind of a vintage illustration style. I call it Still Water. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you um, would give me a, a little heads up in the comments if you like seeing software paint you know um, painting and other software other than art rage and photoshop um thanks so much guys best wishes and take care um also check the comment section or the link section if you want to look at patreon or other ways to kind of support the channel but uh definitely appreciate your comments and your guidance i've had a lot of fun looking at what you guys are benefiting from and uh, that makes it me